If you're trying to make healthy lifestyle changes and having a hard time sticking to those habits, this video is for you. My name is Christina, I'm a nurse practitioner, I'm also a yoga instructor, and so my passion really is within holistic health and wellness. I'm also a wife and a mom of two little boys, so I know how difficult it is to stick to healthy habits when your life and your energy is being pulled in a million different directions. So today I'm going to introduce a framework that will help you implement healthy habits every single day consistently that are quick and easy to do. In the United States, almost half of Americans suffer from a chronic health condition. Most of these chronic conditions can be improved through lifestyle changes. Now, the thing is that this is often glossed over in modern medicine. In modern medicine, we have a high focus on prescribing medications. You come in with something, we prescribe you a medication, we follow up, we make sure you're taking those medications, we refill those medications, it's highly, highly focused on medications. Maybe lifestyle changes are brought up, but it's rare that your provider will give you techniques or give you tangible ways of how to implement these lifestyle changes. So what we're left with is a pack of medications, and the same lifestyle that we came in with. Now, I'm not saying to stop taking your medications. I by no means am against taking medications. I just hope that this can help supplement treating your chronic health conditions with healthy lifestyle changes and empower you to take control of your own health and really, really make those healthy lifestyle changes stick. The framework that I'm going to introduce to you today is called, well, I call it the five quick five. And I sort of unknowingly developed this framework when I, right after I had my second son, when I was really having a hard time sticking to healthy lifestyle habits. I wasn't sleeping right. I wasn't eating right. I was hungry all the time because I was breastfeeding and I just could not find time to make healthy lifestyle changes. So a short explanation of this framework is that I'm going to identify five aspects of your life. These five aspects of your life are based off learnings from an ancient text in Hinduism. And so the framework is based off of something called the five koshas. Kosha essentially means layer. So the idea is that there are five layers to yourself as a being. From these five different aspects or different layers of your life, we are going to develop a quick habit, some sort of set of five. So either you're gonna do it for five minutes or you go, you're going to just do five of them, which will make sense a little bit later on. But if at the end of this video, this framework is helpful to you, you there is a PDF document that might help you organize your thoughts and organize your habits and help you stick with them. So just look at that down there. So we are going to balance each layer through one short healthy habit. At the end of this video, you are going to make five different habits. And I know that sounds like a lot to implement at once, but it really isn't. These habits you're going to be able to do within less than three minutes, depending on the habit that you choose. So I will go ahead and explain each layer in detail. So your first layer is your physical body. So you're going to develop a habit that has to do with your physical body and it's going to be a set of five or for five minutes. So this could be like I'm going to run for five minutes or I'm going to do five squats. I'm going to do five push-ups every single day and that's going to be your physical habit. And you know, you might think mm, five squats, it's not really going to do anything, but hear me out. Your goal for these habits it's not to build glutes, right? If your goal is to build glutes, then five squats should not be your daily habit goal. The goal of these habits is consistency, right? It is consistency, so remember that. So five squats, five push-ups, maybe you already have a really great workout routine in and your habit for your physical body is, I'm going to drink a smoothie every morning with five different fruits, fruits and vegetables. That could be it too. Whatever is applicable and helpful to you in your life, make it specific to you. Your next layer is your energy body. So traditionally, your energy body is very closely linked with your breathing. So pranayama, breathing. A habit in this layer could look like I'm going to take five deep breaths every day. For the sake of this framework, I'm also going to just introduce the idea of anything, any habit that will help balance your energy in your life 
is applicable, right? So maybe that's meditation. I'm going to meditate for five minutes. I'm going to take five deep breaths. I'm going to say one affirmation to myself five times, whatever it is that helps you feel calm at peace, anything that will harness good energy in your life, that is what I want you to focus on for your energy habit. Number three is your mind body. For this habit, I want you to choose an, a habit that has to do with learning, growing your body of knowledge. This could be reading five pages of a book, maybe just reading five lines of a book. This could be listening to five minutes of a podcast on your way to work, or maybe it's learning five new words in a different language. There are endless things you can learn in life, and so this one really opens up the door for whatever it is, and don't get overwhelmed. Make it a quick and easy habit that you're going to do every day. Number four is your wisdom. For this habit, I want you to implement or create. This could be writing five sentence in a creative writing work that you're working on. This could be drawing for five minutes. It could be spending five minutes editing a video. Whatever fills your heart, makes you feel creative, and makes you feel like you're implementing what you've learned and is fun to you, set that as your habit. And then your last body, your bliss body, that's your fifth. Your bliss body is kind of like, you can associate it with self-actualization. And when I think about self-actualization, I think of a person who is egoless, selfless, and who is just totally confident in themselves. And so what do we do when we feel this way? we give, right? We feel comfortable giving to other people. So your last habit has to do with giving. A short, quick habit about giving. This could be every day I will call someone close to me and talk to them for five minutes. This could be I'm going to send five people an encouraging text message throughout the day. Whatever it is, giving some positivity, giving something to someone else is your focus of this habit. Now, remember that these habits should be outside of your profession or outside of goals you're working on, right? So if you are training for a marathon, your habit isn't gonna be to run for five minutes because you're going to need to increase the amount of time that you're running. These habits should be where if you just do the bare minimum, you will be satisfied. But the beauty of this habit list is that it could take you three minutes to, co to complete this habit list or it could take you three hours to complete it depending on how much time you have in your day and where your energy is at that day. So for example, if my habits are, I'm going to do five squats every day and I'm gonna take five deep breaths, and I'm going to read five sentences of a book, and I'm going to write five sentences of a book, of a book and I'm gonna send five messages every day. That could literally take me three minutes, but maybe I start doing the squats and I, I feel really good, and so after that, I go for a run, and I do some arm workout, and it just could turn into so much, but maybe one day I literally just do those five squats, that's all the time and effort that I have. I hope this helps. Comment below if it does help. And just remember there is a PDF document that might help organize your thoughts.